my favorite pasta alternatives. You know, sometimes there's nothing better than a decadent, hearty bowl of pasta. But you may be saying, Dr. G, isn't pasta loaded with lectins? Well, yes, traditional wheat pastas are terrible for your health. But luckily, there are plenty of delicious and healthy alternatives. In today's episode, I'm sharing my favorite pasta alternatives that you can enjoy right at home while staying slim and healthy. All right, let's start with millet pasta. Millet is a seeded grass that most of you know, like sorghum, is actually not a grain, even though it's marketed as a grain, that has absolutely no lectins. And it's actually very efficient in producing a grain with very low water. So as water becomes scarcer and scarcer, millet and sorghum become much more important grain alternatives for multiple reasons. Now, it can be made into a pasta that supports both heart and gut health. It's rich in magnesium and potassium, and it can work wonders for your gut. It's great for digestion and may also support better nutrient retention. There's a lot of dietary fiber in millet. And as you know, the dietary fiber in millet is what feeds your good gut bugs. And this has actually got a great mouthfeel like al dente pasta, and it kind of holds up to cooking. Uh, this one's made by Big Green. We use these, we like them, and that's why I'm showing you. All right, next up, shirataki noodles. Now, shirataki noodles are often called Miracle Noodles, a brand name, or Konjac noodles. They're about 97% water and about 3% glucomonin fiber. Glucomonin is a fiber that comes from the konjac root. Glucomonin is viscous, which means it absorbs water aggressively, and it's a type of soluble fiber that has been shown to absolutely feed good gut bacteria. Now, these noodles move through your digestive system quite slowly, which makes you actually really feel full and they are not absorbed by us, but our gut bacteria think they're dessert. So anytime you can find shirataki or miracle noodles, and I have a lot of recipes on YouTube, a lot of recipes in my books that use shirataki noodles. There's also shirataki rice. Next up is sorghum pasta. Now this virtual spaghetti swaps is one of the great superfoods. Sorghum is full of polyphenols and gut-boosting compounds that contains a lot of B vitamins, which play an essential role in metabolism, nerve cell development, and healthy skin and nails. It's also a great source of magnesium that unfortunately almost all of us are deficient in. What's more, a half a cup of sorghum provides seven grams of fiber, which is about 25% of all you need on a daily basis. And quite frankly, I love my Gundry MD sorghum pasta. To me, it's got the best mouthfeel of any of the pastas you're gonna see here today. Sorghum is high in antioxidants that include flavonoids, phenolic acids, and tannins. These antioxidants can absolutely go a long way in reducing oxidative stress. Finally, this grain is a great source of plant-based protein. In fact, it provides as much protein as quinoa, a cereal grain renowned for its high protein content that unfortunately is loaded with lectins. Next up, a fairly new one, green banana pasta. This is organic green bananas. You've heard me talk about the benefit of green bananas, and now it's available in a pasta. The great thing about this is it's loaded with dietary fiber, and it also has a really good mouthfeel. The other wonderful thing about this, it is ready in four minutes of cooking. So if you've got kids who are screaming for pasta and no time on your hands, great new product uh, with green banana flour. Next up, palmini pasta made from hearts of palm. Now I love this because very much like konjac noodles, there is virtually no sugar, and it's mostly fiber. 
So I prefer this mouthfeel to that of konjac noodles, but it's, a, it's an individual preference. It's so easy to fix. You fix them almost exactly like konjac noodles, but the beauty of this and konjac noodles is it's all fiber and no sugar. And before we go, after we're done with all this, I want to give you a warning about the carbohydrate content in all of these except konjac and palmini. Next up, there are sweet potato noodles and vermicelli. This one is made from sweet potato and purple sweet potato, which you can kind of see the purple color. Sweet potatoes are another great source of dietary fiber, and these cook up pretty quick. It takes about, oh, uh, six minutes, not very long. They're ready. Don't overcook these. These become slimy, but another great change of pace. Um, this particular one is bee green as well. And it's lectin free. Yay. Finally, the old standby capellos. Capellos make spaghetti. They make fettuccine. They make other forms. Now, this is made primarily from almond flour, peeled almonds. Uh, it does have eggs. So those of you who are egg sensitive, be careful. This to me, tastes the closest to fresh made pasta. In fact, you'll find this in your freezer section, often in the vegetarian area. It cooks up quick. Again, I think it is closest to fresh pasta that you make at home. Now, word of warning. I have a lot of people who say, wow, I had no idea. Uh, you know, this is great. I'm going to have it every day from now on. Not so fast. Most of these, with the exception of the palmini and the shirataki noodles, still have a significant carbohydrate content. And that carbohydrate, even though it may break down slowly, is sugar eventually. And I have a number of my well-meaning patients who want to go lectin-free, want to avoid traditional pastas, that latch on to all of these and use it almost on a daily basis. And they often gain weight. They often raise their triglycerides. They often raise their insulin. And they're apoplectic when they see their blood work because they're eating healthy. View these as treats. Have them on the weekend. Have them as a special occasion. But don't make them a mainstay of your diet. Lastly, you'll see a lot of other pasta alternatives out there made from pea protein, made from uh, legume protein, made from bean protein, made from uh, lentil protein, made from corn. Please, please, please stay away. These are lectin bombs hidden in pasta. You don't want to come near them particularly since there are so many great lectin-free alternatives, and you're going to find one or more of these that's going to hit your taste button the exact right way. And make it part of your diet, but don't overdo it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dr. Gundry Podcast. Make sure to check out the next one here. Just by adding the pistachios, the participants showed an improved blood glucose level, improved endothelial function,